a four-time All-Star. This first baseman won three Gold Glove Awards and two Silver Slugger Awards. Hi, my name is Clay Michel. If you like this video, press the like button. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Please ring the bell for notification. Feel free to comment. Sorry if my English is not good. Rafael Palmeiro Corrales is born on September 24, 1964 in La Habana, Cuba. He was drafted by the New York Mets in the eighth round of the 1982 draft. He did not sign. The Chicago Cubs later drafted him in the first round of the 1985 draft. He was the 22nd overall pick. He played his first game in the MLB in 1986. In 1988, his final season with the Cubs, he hit for 307 with 8 home runs, 53 runs batted in and 12 stolen bases. He made the National League All-Star team. He was traded to the Texas Rangers before the 1989 season. In 1990, he hit for 319, with 14 home runs, 89 runs batted in and 3 stolen bases. He led the American League with 191 hits. In 1991, he hit for 322, with 26 home runs, 88 runs batted in and 4 stolen bases. He led the American League with 49 doubles. He made the American League All-Star team. In 1993, he hit for 295, with 37 home runs. 105 runs batted in and 22 stolen bases. He led the American League with 124 runs. He joined the Baltimore Orioles before the 1994 season. The team reached the playoffs in 1996. In 1997, Palmyro committed 10 errors with a 993 fielding percentage. The Orioles made the playoffs and Palmyra won a gold glove as a first baseman. In 1998, he hit for 296 with 43 home runs, 121 runs batted in and 11 stolen bases. In defense, with a 994 fielding percentage, he committed 9 errors. He made the American League All-Star team. He won a Gold Glove Award and a Silver Slugger Award, both as a first baseman. He returned to the Texas Rangers before the 1999 season. At his first year, he hit for 324 with 47 home runs, 148 runs batted in and two stolen bases. He made the American League All-Star team. The Rangers made the playoffs. Despite playing only 28 games as a first baseman, Palmyra won a Gold Glove Award. He also won a Silver Slugger Award as a designated hitter. He returned to the Baltimore Orioles in 2004. In 2005, he was mentioned in Jose Canseco's book Juiced, Wild Times, Rampant Roys, Smash Hits and How Baseball Got Big. Canseco said he personally injected Palmyro with steroids. On March 17, 2005, the latter appeared at a congressional hearing about steroids in baseball. Under oath, he said. Let me start by telling you this. I have never used steroids, period. I don't know how to say it any more clearly than that. Never. On July 15, 2005, the Baltimore Orioles were visiting the Seattle Mariners. Palmyro hit a double to the left field off Joel Pinero. Base runner Melvin Morris scored on the play for the second base. The Palmyro's double was hit 3,000th hit. The Orioles won the game 6-3 against he Mariners. Weeks later, Palmyro was tested positive for steroids. He became the seventh player to get caught. He got a 10-day suspension. Palmyro denied having used steroids intentionally. 2005 was Palmyro's last year in the MLB. In 2015, 
He played one game with the Sugarland Skeeters, an Atlantic League of Professional Baseball team. His son, Patrick Palmyro, was also on the same team. In 2018, the father-son duo played for the Cleburne Railroaders, an American association of professional baseball team. The Railroaders are the last team both Palmyros played for. Patrick Palmyro was drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2008. He played for the Chicago White Sox organization from 2012 to 2014. He never played above the single A level. He played in independent baseball from 2015 to 2018. In 2016, he signed with the Baltimore Orioles. Unfortunately, he did not make the team. His brother, Preston Palmyro, is a Los Angeles Angels prospect. 3,020 hits, 1,663 runs, 585 doubles and 569 home runs in 20 years. Rafael Palmyro had a great career and deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, his reputation is forever ruined by a failed PED test.